Yeah. Well, well, well. Let us see what Blender has to offer in the area of Ecosphere. Icosphere, Ecosphere. I don't know how it is pronounced. So here we are going to the mesh to the Ecosphere. Before bringing that, we will delete this cube. We will go to add to the mesh to the Ecosphere. It is somewhat different from the UV sphere. How we are going to see that as well. So Ecosphere is something like this. If I go to its sub menu, we can increase its subdivision. It is going to smoothen it out. And we can increase its radius. We can align it according to the view. Not a great change is uh, visible by aligning it to view or world or 3D cursor. It's uh, everything is same. So location, we can change the location in the X axis. We can change the location in the Y axis. We can change the location in the Z axis. We can change the rotation in the X axis. We can change the rotation in the Y axis and Z axis. So how is it different from the UV sphere? For that, I have bought a UV sphere as well. If you see both of these wire frames, UV sphere is made of, uh, it's something like how our latitude and longitudes are there on the globe. Whereas eco sphere is something of made of triangles. It is made of a triangle. Whereas UV sphere is made up of rectangles. Wow, that's wonderful. So that is the main difference between both of these uh, types of sphere. If you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Until then, uh, uh -huh. one more thing one more thing if you want to support me wholeheartedly you can support me on the patreon page links will be given in the description with that being said and done try to see it understand it and learn it and one more thing solid and if you want to make it smooth you can right click on it and shade smooth it will smooth it out and right click on it shade flat it will flat it out so with that being said and done try to see it Learn it, understand it. I will be seeing you in the next video.